Let's multiply a decimal by a decimal. This isn't a whole number anymore, which means we don't have two or three groups of something or five groups of something. We have a piece of a piece. We want five tenths of six tenths, which means we don't want all of six tenths. We want a part of it. Our answer is going to get smaller. And that seems strange when you multiply. But if you think about taking a piece of a piece, it makes sense that an answer would get smaller. Let's use the traditional method. We'll go ahead and line up our numbers. I see five tenths times six tenths. I see tenths times tenths. When I'm taking tenths times tenths, I'm taking a piece of a piece. Think about multiplication patterns that you know with whole numbers. I know that 10 times 10 is a hundred, which means a tenth times a tenth is going to equal a hundredth. Our answer will become smaller. Tenths of tenths will give us hundredths. I'm going to cover these both decimals up and treat it like a whole number. I know that six times five or five times six would be 30, but because it's five tenths times six tenths, my answer needs to be 30 hundredths. I could write it as 30 hundredths, or I could even write it as three tenths because those are equivalent. Three tenths is equivalent to 30 hundredths.